Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you've been giving me. For me to be able to get put these videos out knowing that you can resonate with them and basically give you validations for the things that you're going through is greatly a, a, a beautiful blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know why I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video or you just stop telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information that you know a loved one or a fellow ill empath needs to hear as well please go ahead and share as well and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and sending love and support and oh yeah give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit <laughs> and please thank you for the love and support that you give me as well as my channel and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video y'all today my video um I'm meditation too is 11 hours of relaxing music for stress relief nature sounds and massage spa and i'll post that link in the description box below y'all you know i already tell y'all for the last couple of days i'll put my daughter's uh website up so y'all already know the routine i'm just going ahead and put that in there if you're able to donate to her it's greatly appreciated um yeah today y'all i'm not even feeling it today but i know with me going through this you know y'all are probably going through it too and i you know i was going to make sure i'm like good good before i even thought about making videos today that's the reason why i didn't make videos yesterday um i'm going through the death of the ego and it makes you very depressed you know um because i was actually i did a video and i was telling all the you know the symptoms but you know it sounded kind of boring and i didn't want to do all that so i went ahead and just go ahead and let y'all know like the summary of it um going through the death of the ego is just like i pray so much i pray all the time you know just asking god to give me that peace and understanding you know for me to get through this so i can get to my union do what i need to do to further myself as being the best version of myself as possible you know i love doing my videos and it's just like but going through this it makes you feel like you're having flu light -like symptoms they say you have these really powerful headaches back aches it feels like you're just dying you you want to just go lay down and just say okay uh, you know you're going through the the motions of dreadfulness depression sadness you know you're asking god felt like you've been abandoned by god um and it's really not it's just like you're 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 looking at life differently and you're separating yourself from ego it's like it's the take back and then you release, take back and release, take back and release. And it just feels so overwhelming. And it was like, um, I found an article that really described it. And the other one was like really, too, really, really, really long. And this lady had, uh, I forgot what her name is, but it was very beautiful, short, thank God. Because the other one, it says, while you're going through a transformation, your ego is dying. And it's really dying because you would uh who wouldn't protest if we were in danger of dying while the spirit is emerging taking you to a higher level of conscious consciousness the e ego is being left behind and it becomes scared of losing its home you and it will do whatever it can make uh ever whatever it, can, ugh, it will do whatever it can to make you stay in that level of awareness you are currently are currently are and it'll do everything in its power to make you feel you need it and it's just like it'll keep giving you what okay this is gonna take forever you know just keep pushing up like really negative things towards you because ego does not want you to change ego fears change ego <laughs> no i don't want you doing this so it'll put all these negative thoughts and processes all up in your head and it said um that you will need and want something in the world to give you but the world cannot give you what God gives you. God is the only source there is. And even if you feel like panic dwelling up, please remember that you are not alone. And you're on, 
uh, alone on the path that you are chosen. Remember, this is a really good thing, you know, because we're going through this because we're going through a spiritual awakening all over again. But this is like a way different version of it because you're going to another level of consciousness. So they need it's not when you come up out of it. They're basically saying it, it's going to bring out a new you and you're going to be really appreciative of the things that you're actually going through. And it, I mean, it really sounds crazy. But it's a process. It's, she says it's a process that everyone has to seriously uh, has seriously chosen in the spirit path uh, in life goes through at some point of their uh, revolutionary journey. It can take years for some and periods to come and go, while for some it's uh, a few nights of very deep spiritual depression or crisis. But they say it's, it's still uh, a good thing. And uh, she was telling that she's been through this before. And it's like you, you can't sit up here and push it aside. You can't do it. You have to basically surrender everything. Like when you're going through it, just say, God, I can't take no more. Like I was up here praying right before I sit up here and talk to y'all. And I just felt something different come inside of me. And I just felt tears just flowing. Like I said, I'm not going to, you know, force this anymore. I can't. You know, I know I need to go through whatever this is I'm going through. I need to go through it because I, I can't take it no more. I can't deal with it. And, um... It says a promise when uh, when the days will come brighter than the days you have ever had before. And um, I promise you this, that it will be all worth it. So stay strong and faithful. It says it's very important for you to own your personal growth, that you don't resist the process. And we will do that just because we don't want to feel it no more. But she's saying you have to allow this. It says the void is not to be a unavoidable um, the void is not to be avoided but embraced sometimes purifications can go through is shown physical symptoms severe headaches back pain for no reason at all sometimes intense periods of only one or two days of flu-like symptoms where you are totally collapsed body feels sicker than ever before Know that if you have chosen the spiritual way of living and you have asked your ego to be undone, you have prayed and awakened to be transformed and suddenly experienced something like this, think, think to yourself, think for yourself, it can be a spiritual growing pain. Go within and ask if it can be it. It probably is. And if you want to be awakened to your true self, you have to expect it and accept the fact that the ego will not give up easily <laughs> like i just said he will not and it says no it's easier said than done but the easiest way to to just go through it surrender to the process and she uh has this thing where you have to um where she say well what to do what not to do when you're trying to fix it somehow to not desperately try to take control of the situation become uh, and become more hysterical about looking for ways out. All of those things are actions made from the place of ego, out of fear. What I have learned to surrender it all, all of it, is to practice and we surrender and take it back, surrender and take it back. And But the taking back part comes less and less as we grow. And she says, say out loud. And this is very important because that's how I've been doing this and it makes me feel a little bit better. It says, I surrender all of this to God. I don't know anything anymore. I simply don't know any anymore, God. So I leave all my life in your hands and all of it. Just surrender. I mean it, she said. You can't possibly know which way to go or what to do because this world you are now entering is new to you. You can't know anything about it because you haven't been there yet. So surrender and let yourself be led to it because you truly are not alone. I promise you that. Just let go. And just let yourself be led through it without interference from the ego. Welcome the transition. The journey of the next level of consciousness will be less painful. And, you know, that's really true because it's like when you're going through this change, like anybody, you, you fear the unknown. Some people are comfortable with change, some people are not, especially if you don't know what direction it is taking you. But you have to know when we're going through this, God is not going to sit up here and abandon us. He's not going to send us out there, you know, in a line of, you know, all these flying bullets. You know, he's not going to have you do that. But it's just your ego will have you feeling that way because it's out of fear. I mean, there are so many ways I'm like, okay, I got to do this. I got to do this. And I, 
end up getting these headaches because yesterday I was just so foggy. You know, I had a uh, extended family asking me how I was doing. I'm like, you know, I feel dizzy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, my head feels like it's about to explode. And I told y'all, when I feel that way, I'm not going to make any videos. But I had to let y'all know today, this is the reason why I haven't made any videos. But I'm going to let you know. I'm like, hey, you know, some of my other family, extended family might be going through this as well. So let me share this with them because, you know, I want y'all to know this is a process we all got to go through if you want to get to the level of consciousness and the fact is if you're activated you will be going through this so prepare yourself but i'm not going to go ahead and linger on and on about this but you know if you're feeling that point where you just want to sleep all day you're just feeling you know really dreadful like why am i going through this um, why is these things happening because this morning I was just crying my eyes out and didn't know where it came from because it was just like oh god what are you doing and then the next thing you know I'm seeing another video about my dad it was talking about just a couple of days before he had passed away so that really you know really upset me because he was going through a, you know a part of depression and I knew he was here like uh right before he did his uh, last performance so that really got to me so I was just like God why is this happening why do I have to go through all this you know it just hurts me more to know that my dad was depressed right before he passed away and this was the time we were supposed to meet so you know that that just played on my heartstrings a lot more so it's just knowing when you're going through this obviously it's something that you truly need to go through right now I can say I'm blessed to go through it because I, I need to let this go. I need to be able to surrender all this pain, all this sorrow that I feel. Because like I tell y'all, you know, I try to be positive and send positive messages towards people. But we're all also human as well. We're in our human shell. So we take some of the human aspects, being depressed at times, you're being sad, you're being aggravated. But you need to go ahead and surrender this and knowing, you know, better days are coming. We just, this is just a process we have to go through. So much love to y'all. I hope you're able to resonate. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. TGIF, thank God, because it's been, a long, it's been a, a long, long, long week. And my post notification shout outs is to uh, October 31, Lover and um, Treasure Seasons. Much love to you and many blessings towards your way. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing better days are coming your way and people are praying for better days for you. And I know I am. I send all love and light to y'all as well. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And what is it? Drop me a line. I would love to know if you're going through this as well with the ego. Death of the ego. And I will talk to y'all much later. Much love. Peace. And be wild.